This week's top secret is a twofer. First, we're going to show a new line of things we're making, and then we're going to tell you what we're calling them. So the Raspberry Pi Pico W is out, and everyone's calling it Pike House, and they're saying, well, what do we call these? And they're like, well, we'll call it a herd. Um, and then everyone's like, these are cows. Pike House, cows, 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 cows. Everyone well, likes cows. People cows. And so this is our one of our first, um, well, we'll tell you what we're calling these, but this is a... Pico W perm. Put a, put a typing add on. You yeah. plug it in. You can solder it, socket it. Um, so you know it's like a it's like a proto feather wing or proto shield, but it adds a reset button, um, and it goes underneath the Raspberry Pi Pico or P Cow. Yeah, and one of the things is, so there is shield with Arduino. There are feather wings. There is hat. Um, there was uh, gizmos. Gizmos. What was the beagle bone? Capes. Capes. And so we're like, well, what are we going to call these things? And usually, Lady Ada will tell me, like, on the weekend or something like that, like, hey, like, here's something we're doing. Here's a product line that we're coming up with. Um, what are some of the names? Let's go check with our uh, trademark and copyright lawyers and all that stuff to make sure we're not doing anything with someone else's name. So um, we're calling these bells, and specifically cowbells and let me just give you a little history so back in the day when we first started doing robotics and circuit python i did this project um and i should say uh jeff epler jeppler came up with the name cowbells and this was one that like it's been in the back of the mind forever it's like oh maybe we'll have like a thing called bells um but he came up with it and uh, i'm just like oh that's it i'm so like one i was relieved i didn't have to like go to that path to find it uh, but the other thing was like, oh, this, this fulfills the destiny of a, a thing we want to do. So we did this project with Cricket that used um, CircuitPython. It, it was fairly new at the time as far as robotics. And I wanted to do an homage to the SNL skit with Christopher Walken about more cowbells. So I'm just going to play a little bit of that. Maybe at the end of the show I'll play, play the whole thing. But I'll, I'll just show you uh, where, where some of this uh, it came from. Yes, that's a smoke machine. Yes, that's a little more designing electronics in the background. Yes, that's what we do at night. So um, that's just the start of it. And maybe I'm I'll play not the ashamed. video. Yeah, maybe I'll play the video later. So um, we, we had this idea. It's like, okay, bells, it's here. Um, we're going to do a cricket cowbell, don't worry. Um, but then we're like, okay, now we can do some of these logos and stuff that we've been um, thinking about. So there's always, we're always trying to figure out a way to, to use a UFO and a cow, but we're not going to do that. Um, so then we came up with, um, well, let's do bells and have it look like a cow. Um, we're not going to use the ones that have any uh, Raspberry Pi logo elements, as cool as it would be, but it's fun to play around in graphic design. Um, but we did move towards, like, okay, this is, like, a pretty neat thing. It's black and white. It'll go on PCBs. Um, it's a bell. It's cow-like. For some people who remember, like, Gateway Electronics, and uh, they did computers, um, that's kind of neat. And so um, we like the idea of these being called bells for the pie cows. And then um, more cowbell. So every time we release one, more cowbell. We have a cowbell. And when Lady Eight is like, well, what should I do today? I'll be like, more cowbell. And, um, you know, we have uh, some of the art ready to go. And then, of course, uh, you know. Everyone loves drawing cows. Yeah. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. More cowbell. So that's uh, this week's top secret. And now you know what it's like to live in our heads. Yes. Okay.